easy to use program for home computer aided uh, drafting and design. And in this video, we'll discuss some of the dimension features and specifically the call of dimension. We have the TurboCAD toolkit uh, toolbar right here. We'll pull off some of the menus that we're going to use the tape measure, the dimension um, pull off uh, menu itself, and then the text pull out bar. In this example, I've drawn a box that's 20 inches wide by 10 inches high. You can see that in the inspector bar up above the dimensions. It's pretty easy to add dimensions with the horizontal dimensions. It'll snap to one endpoint, <clears throat> go to the other endpoint. Magically, 20 will show up with the arrows, and you can pull it down, adjust as you see fit. Same way for the vertical dimensions, snap to the end, lower one, upper one, and 10 inches shows up. So just about everything in TurboCAD, you can modify it. If you select the item, you'll note that the inspector uh, information window is to the right, and you can change various things, the color of the line. You can even change the shape of uh, the size of the font. And if you like the style of the arrow end, it's just a wide range of things you can adjust for your drawing. In addition, TurboCAD has a tape measure where you can go from one point to the other and it'll give you the distance. You can see the little yellow box there shows this is 20 inches long and 10 inches high. But as our RC model plans are drawn full size, sometimes we need text just to label something in general, which we'll demonstrate here. Pushing the space bar, you can adjust the picture inside the TurboCAD window. We select the uh, A for the text. We can type out whatever we want. Again, we can move that text to various locations with a gripper, the slider bar. We can adjust the size. We can even adjust the um, tilt. But especially with RC model plans, there's times we want text with an arrow pointing to a specific area or feature of the plan because our plans are drawn typically full size. And this is the callout dimension. You can see we've selected the callout dimension. It shows it in the upper left-hand corner. With instructions, you just click once, click twice, and you have an arrow with some text. Now, this is the text from the earlier um, information that I used. The trick is to go up at top into the uh, box for text. That's where you change the text, not on the drawing itself. So we'll do that one more time. The call out a dimension box will click on the front of the airplane, click a second time, it has wheel from before. We go up to the text box at the top, type in the information we want, in this case, no section. And note also, once we select it, we go to the inspector windows, we can change various aspects. In this case, we can change the style of the arrow, and we can also adjust the size of the font. In this case, we'll make it a smaller font. And what you do on your plan, you just pick a standardized series of fonts to make the whole plan go the same. You can adjust that as you see fit. And it's just a very handy way to uh, annotate your RC model airplane drawing with the callout dimension tool.